So, one of the main problems right now is that we have three different types of apps in two different environments. So we have the classic apps, which is your desktop application. Uh, you can't kill the desktop application. I'm sorry guys, that loves Metro. I need fireworks, I need After Effects, I need all those important softwares and they won't do a touch version in like 10 years from now. Uh, so I need those apps to work. And the problem with desktop applications, we're gonna call them classic apps, is that they run in the desktop environment. Problem is that if I'm using, let's say, a touch computer, uh, I need to fall back to a desktop with small X buttons and everything in order to use my apps. That is not great, and you can boost the DPI yet, the way you, you interact with those apps, you close them, whatever, is not made for touch, and that sucks. Second type of app is the modern apps. So this is the Metro apps, as we know them, and we can download from the store. We're gonna call them modern apps for now. Uh, so modern apps is very simple. You download them from the Microsoft Store, and you know they're great. Uh, you can use them with a lot of touch functionality. They swipe. They have a horizontal panning panoramas type uh, navigation. Uh, the problem is that when I'm on my desktop computer, it sucks. I don't want to have a full screen app for something very simple on my main workstation. This is where the problem comes with modern apps. Uh, then we have the hybrid applications. Now, hybrid applications, let's say if we take Skype, Skype exists in two different flavors. You have the classic version of Skype that runs in your desktop, and you have the modern version of Skype that runs in the Metro environment. They do not communicate right now, and they're very confusing either to get work with and they have both different notification systems so yes it will do your beeping on the metro notification but also on the desktop notification and it isn't very fun um, so hybrid apps this app exists in in both environment both way to do the application and unfortunately well they suck both ways uh, because they don't communicate if you're using a computer again This is if you're using a computer where you need to switch between those two environments Speaking of environments right now. We're having two of them. We have a desktop. This is Windows 7 basically So yes, your desktop is just Windows 7 and then we have the Metro environment, which is the touch star screen now three different types of apps two different environments It is not an issue right now the way this is. The problem is how those things work together. So those three different types of applications and those two different types of environments, they don't work well together. And here's why. So right now what's happening is very simple. Um, when I open a classic application, so desktop application, well the classic application opens on the desktop. Okay, when I open a modern application, well that modern application opens in Metro. Okay, uh, and then when I open an hybrid, an hybrid application, it really don't care about you. It will basically run only on the desktop for the classic version and only on Metro for the modern version. And those two try to work. Together. So this is where the big confusion is right now with Windows 8. I have my computer and let's say I'm on my desktop computer and I open the music app, well it will go full screen on my desktop computer. Now if I want to use that app at the same time as I have Photoshop and any other classic application, well it will open the desktop. But the desktop is considered kind of like a modern application. So when you use the Metro version of side-by-side -side multitasking, you have half of your screen, you know, more or less, you can always adjust that, but you have half of your screen that is the desktop running six, seven apps if you want on that shared space. And the other half is just one simple music application or Metro application. So the desktop is trying to live inside of the Metro environment and Metro is basically the dominant environment trying to run the desktop as an app. 
that the desktop itself has all those classic apps running inside. So your desktop is like a virtual machine as an app inside of Metro. And this is where everything falls. Because on my desktop, well, I don't want the Metro, uh, the, the music application to take half the space and be considered as important as my whole desktop and all my applications. But on my tablet device, um, I don't want to go through a desktop to use all those very important apps, even if they're not optimized. I still have to use those X and work inside of that small space. And hybrid applications, well, they don't really care. They will run both at the same time because, well, they don't communicate at all. So you have this big problem right now where you have two environments trying to work together but one inside the other sharing those apps that can only be run in their respective environment. So I have my modern apps that run in Metro, the desktop runs in Metro and the desktop runs those classic apps and the hybrids are just smushed in between everything. This is the confusion that we have right now with Windows 8. How do we fix that? I have an idea. 